right, good afternoon, 2G. There's gonna be two videos today. This is part one. Part two, I think, will be longer. So if I have, if I have this equation, what must the variable be worth in order to make this true? I'll wait. Not very long. So we need to solve this. Do the inverse operation on both sides. Six minus six is zero, zero plus y is y, 16 minus six is 10. So for this equation to be true, y must be 10. Otherwise it wouldn't be true. Here's how we know. What if, what if we said y was equal to 11 and we substitute the value of the variable and we said 11 plus six should equal 16. But 11 plus six is 17, Miss D. <laughs> I know. That means y can't be 11. Okay, let's do, let's do another one. You'll see where I'm going. What if I had this, and I told you I want to know what y will equal that will make this false? Well, we already know that if y equals 11, it would be false. Are there any other numbers that we could substitute in for y that would make it false? Um, how about 1? 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 doesn't equal 16. Oh, 1. How about 2? 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 doesn't equal it. 3, 4, da, 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 da. Turns out everything but 10 will make it false. All right, let's, let's, let's try this one. What if I had this? Now... What could the variable equal that would make all of this be true? Hmm. Well, let's pretend for right now this is an equal sign, and we'll go ahead and solve it like we know how to do. Do the inverse operation. Keep that symbol the same. Now it says, if y is anything greater than 10, this will be true. Okay, let's try 11. 11 is greater than 10. 11 plus 6 is 17, and 17 is greater than 16. True. 12. 12 plus 6 is 18, and 18 is greater than 16. 13. Whew. 13 plus 6 is 19, and 19 is greater than 16. See where we're going? All the numbers that are greater than 10. Okay, Miss D, you're real smart. What about 10.1? Okay. 10.1 plus 6 is 16.1, <laughs> which is bigger, okay? So everything that would make this true are all the numbers that are bigger than 10. Now, sometimes they're going to get a little tricky, and they're going to give you a list of numbers, and they're going to put it in these funny curly brackets. So if I said out of this list of numbers... Curly brackets. Which ones of these make f minus 4 is greater than 2 true? So there's a couple ways to do this. You could solve this and do the inverse operations, which would be plus 4, and end up with 6 and f. So f is greater than 6. Then just look for any of these numbers that are greater than 6. Or if that way still confuses you, which I hope it doesn't, but if that way does, substitute the value of the variable. Put a 0 in for the f. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Negative 4 is not greater than 2. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Negative 1 is not greater than 2. 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 is not greater than 2. 8 minus 4 is 4. Ah, 4 is greater than 2. 10 minus 4 is 6. 6 greater than 2? Yes. 14 minus 4 is 10, and 10 is greater than 2. So, Yes, in fact, these numbers right here satisfy that equation or inequality. All right, then you have another video to watch, then some homework. Good luck.